Translation of Foreign Operations. This is topic four, the Presentation Currency Translation, PCT, method. The PCT method is simpler in application. This is where all assets and liabilities, so again, all assets and liabilities, we don't uh, separate them into monetary and non-monetary, all assets and liabilities are translated at the closing rate. Equity accounts are translated using the historical rate, and revenues and expenses are translated at the historical rate, the same way as the FCT method is, where we may be able to use simplifying assumptions, such as an average for the period. In contrast to the FCT method, this PCT method is not concerned with displaying transactions as if they had occurred in the functional currency in the first place. So again, as I mentioned in the previous video, consider combining a chart like this uh, with the FCT method and comparing and contrasting the different rates for each. As I mentioned, the monetary and non-monetary assets and liabilities are not separated and um, by looking at the um, non-monetary versus uh, monetary. They're both used and translated using the closing rate. Uh, I should reinforce here uh, just what a monetary and non-monetary uh, asset and liabilities may be. Even though we cover it in introductory accounting and we covered it again in IFA 2, uh, it is never bad to have a bit of a refresher. A monetary asset or liability is one whose value is either stated in or convertible into a fixed amount of cash. So it's something that can be settled in cash, uh, such as investment accounts, accounts receivable, accounts payable, uh, notes receivable, those types of things. Uh, items that would not be considered to be monetary would be inventory, as you aren't expecting to, uh, to trade your inventory for cash or settle in cash, but rather inventory is meant to be either uh, used uh, if you're talking about WIP or raw materials inventory, you want to make those into finished goods and then you want to sell those into revenues. So um, making it into sales versus uh, versus uh, settling in cash is, you know, perhaps a little bit of a trickier uh, concept because the sales would then, um, the other side would be AR, and then AR would in fact be monetary, um, but inventory on its own is not. Hmm. Okay, so just a little bit of a segue there. Okay, and then back to here. Um, we are, friendly reminder, uh, so Goodwill is now on closing, Deferred Revenues is now on closing. Uh, common shares, however, are still historical. Same thing with dividends and our uh, revenues are looking at your uh, average uh, for the historical and the date in which the transaction occurred, uh, or that simplifying assumption when looking at the average will usually typically suffice. Alrighty, time for a question. Similarly, you are a junior accountant for a large company that manufactures frozen french fries. This time you were tasked with using the presentation currency translation method to translate a number of accounts. They are cost of sales, deferred revenue, and investments in publicly traded shares. Which rate would you use for each of these accounts, respectively? If you said A, you would be correct. These sales are translated at a historical rate, likely the average. The deferred revenue is a liability, translated at the closing rate, and the publicly traded shares are monetary assets, and so the closing rate is applied. Okay, uh, that's it for the mini lecture videos this week. I suggest, I strongly suggest, continuing to watch the example videos on Brightspace prior to continuing on to the tutorial videos. After the tutorial videos, you will have all the information and skills necessary to successfully complete part three of LLL as the last chapter of this course related to nonprofit organizations isn't related to the LLL for-profit comprehensive three-part case. Guys, I've said it before and I'll say it again, you are doing great 
Thank you so much for your hard work, your effort, and your positive attitude. We are almost there. The finish line is in sight, and I look forward to finishing this course off strong with you. Talk soon.